On the order card, we can view all the details of the order and edit the data entered. Here, we mark the order with an asterisk. After such marking, we can filter orders. The indicated buttons allow you to switch between orders. And the Return to Order List button will return us to all orders on the list. The first section allows you to view the thumbnail of the product, its ID number, product name, quantity, price, VAT rate, weight, date of addition. We can perform actions on this product, that is, edit it, delete the order, or check the status history. Let's edit the product. We can change the product name, quantity, price with its currency, VAT rate, and weight. We can add comments to the order. We can change the order status. We can issue invoices or receipts. On the order card, we can add a product to the order. We can add it in two ways. Add a product from stock or add a product manually. Let's add the product straight from our magazine the Baselinker Academy Catalog. At this point, we can search for a product. We can also scan the product and thus find it much faster. This is especially useful for stationary sales. So let's add a random product from the list. We enter its quantity and with the green button, add the product to the order. The product has been added. We can perform wholesale operations on products. For example, change the weight of a product. In this case, we can set the total weight of the order or set the weight for each of the products. For example, let's set 5.5 kilograms of the total weight of this order. We confirm. The change has been made. The first product has a weight of 5.5 and each subsequent product has a zero weight. Let's repeat the weight change operation, and this time set the weight of each product to 1.5 kilograms. We confirm each of the products has 1.5 kilograms. We can also set the VAT of products. In this case, the VAT rate will be changed for all products. For example, let's enter 8 as 8% 8 of the VAT rate. We confirm the VAT rate in the order has been changed for all products. We can change the price of the product. In this case, we can perform various mathematical operations. For example, increase the price of each product by a given amount. That is, for example, plus 5 will increase all products by 5 Polish lotties. Or, for example, multiply all products. For example, by 0.9. In this case, we will make a 10% discount on each product, and this change has been applied. Below, we have information about the order. In this case, we have the amount of the order. Next to it, we have a button for recalculation due to the fact that we have made changes to the order. As you can see, the price has changed. Right next to it, we can edit the payment for this order. We can make a specific payment or mark the order as paid, or possibly set it as unpaid. Let's cancel. Below, we have all the data entered together with the order. That is, its login, email, telephone number, source of the order, shipping method, shipping cost, payment method. Below, we have two fields that have been edited for our educational accounts. That is, information and error message. This field can be individually personalized by the processes taking place in the company. The comments field is a field where we can leave a note for the order. It is limited here to 200 characters. We save. Here we can change the status of this order. We choose it from the list and click Move, or we can move it without running automatic actions. For example, let's change our order to the delivered status, but do not perform any automatic actions related to it. In this case, we can verify the receipt, edit it, and cancel it.
Below, we also have the option to issue an invoice, pro forma invoice, or send it directly to the printer. We have a number in the store. It is an order from the store, date of submission, date and status, and stock. In this case, it is an order that has been completed, that is, the inventory has been removed. Own events are events with assigned automatic actions off this account. Each administrator can automate account processes in a variety of ways. Below, we have a link to the order information page. We can also send such a link to the customer so that he can view all information about the order as well as messages and history. At this point, we can present a change of status or all messages that we send to the client. The customer also has the option of sending a message to us via the information page. We have three sections below. Delivery address, data for the invoice, and collection at the point. Pick up at the point is, for example, the parcel logger code selected by the customer. We can edit these fields by clicking on them, and in this case, we can change the address, changing the number 12 to number 11. Confirm with the blue button Save. We can quickly transfer this data to the delivery address and save it. Below is the shipment section. That is all generated waybills for this order. We can also create such a bill of lading manually from the perspective of the order card. We fill in the necessary data. That is download, insurance, content description, or additional services. On the right side, we have information about the weight and dimensions of the package. Use this button to send the package. At the bottom of the order card, you will find the exchange of messages with the customer, that is, sent emails, SMSs, or comments to the order. We can also put a hidden message here, only for the seller. On the right side, we have additional information, that is, all order logs, payment history, status history with the option of going to detailed logs, History of changes in the order. We can also see from which employee account the change was made. Or the history of automatic actions. The green information shows that the automatic action has been performed correctly. We can also check when the order was collected or packed. We will find it in the history of collecting and packaging products below. If our account uses the base linker caller module, a plugin informing who is calling, here we will also have logs of such an event. The order card also allows you to create a printout or export for the order from its perspective. We can do it right here. We have a list of all the exports and prints available on our account here. In addition, we can start packing or collecting, or we can take a photo if a webcam is configured at the stand. The other actions are to delete an order, create a new order for this customer, create a copy of the order, and separate the order.